This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Kim Kardashian, her Skims shapewear line, you know, this actually launched not that long ago, by the way. It was in 2019 that she co-founded Skims alongside the company's CEO. And now that Skims line is valued at $3.2 billion. You know how amazing that is? That's Just incredible. last year, in April of 2021, uh, it was half that. And now they're at $3.2 billion. So you can see the growth. And they're actually going to do their own retail location. So right now, they've been raising money. And they just see a lot of opportunities there. What happened to Chloe uh, Kardashian's hand? I've seen something that was... Uh... <laughs> Man, shut up. Why, why is he... <laughs> Man, drop on the clues bomb for us do? being Wait, niggas. We don't care about that three, four billion dollars. What's up with Chloe's hands, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> niggas are going nig. Niggas are going hate. We can't I help it sometimes. Ask a question. Man, deal with your own pain. I just asked a question. What's up with her hands? <laughs> oh, Nobody else in the head has oh, nothing to do with skims. Oh, man. Oh, you oh, I love us so skin. much, All man. Right. I love us so much, man. Oh, All right, no. now Chris Brown is being sued for $20 million. <sighs> A woman is claiming that he drugged and raped her on Diddy's estate. All right, nothing funny And no so more. now this woman is saying this happened back in December of 2020 on a yacht that was parked at Diddy's estate. The woman is only identified as Jane Doe. She's reportedly a professional choreographer, dancer, model, and musical artist. She said that Chris Brown went from being friendly with her to attacking her within minutes. It all started, she said, when Chris Brown grabbed the phone of a friend she was FaceTiming and persuaded her to come to Diddy's home on Star Island. When she got there, the alleged victim says that he approached her and asked if she wanted a drink, and then she said she had an sudden unexplained change in consciousness she felt disoriented physically unstable and started to fall in and out of sleep and that's when she said that chris brown led her into a bedroom drugged and half asleep removed her bikini bottoms and raped her despite her resistance and so uh she said that the reason that she did not report it right away was because she was a medical student at the time and was embarrassed now chris brown has since posted on social media i hope you all see this pattern of cap Whenever I'm releasing music or projects, they try to pull some real BS. So it feels like that is in response to these allegations. But we will keep you updated um, on that situation. All right, do y'all want to hear some good news? Tyler Perry Studios has joined the employer roster of Vets to Sets. That's a nonprofit that connects veterans with producers. So what they're doing is finding entry-level production positions for veterans. And his company... Um, has been headquartered out of the former Fort McPherson Army base in Atlanta since 2015. It was a big deal when he moved into that space. So right now he is on that employer roster. So that's a beautiful thing for him to be able to offer those opportunities uh, to military veterans. And Wendy Williams may not be returning to her talk show until at least March. That's what people are saying right now. When oh, so she is coming back. Lightly sit out the rest of I thought at first they said she know. wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, now they're saying at least not until March, at least, okay? There's been a lot of different guest hosts happening, and there a lot of these people are going to be returning as guest hosts for the month of February and through March 4th. People like Fat Joe, Remy Ma, Michael Rappaport, Bebby Smith, Terrence J, Sherry Shepard. So they're saying that's what it's looking like. And, you know, things can change as they have been. It's been getting pushed back and pushed back. But some people feel like she might never come back. A source uh, did tell Page Six that there's a lot of truth to the rumors about her absence. They said it's one thing to see what we've seen in the studio, but it's another thing when certain staff members make it to her home. They said when the cameras and mics are off, the liquor comes out. So that has been said previously. So we shall see if she does make it back to her show. You know, we definitely send the healing energy to Wendy Williams. And, uh -huh. you know, I would hope that she makes it back. I want Wendy to go out on her terms. You know what I mean? They said that the ratings are still doing well, right? On the show? That's what I heard. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, they have been. I don't know where they're at now, but the ratings have still been fine. My girl Ida Rodriguez was on yesterday, too. Shout out to her. She's a guest right, host? Well, she hosted? That is your rumor report. No, she was a guest. Oh, okay. She was a guest on. I think Sherry Shepard was hosting. Well, drop on the clues, Bonfire, to Ida Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. I know Flame was, Flame was supposed to do it, too. Did they do the same episode? Uh, I saw Ida on there, but mm. I didn't see Flame on that particular episode. All right. All right. Well, All right. thank you well, for that rumor that report. That is your rumor report. Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Oh, man. You know, I need the D.A.R.E. program to come to the front of the congregation. D.A.R.E., where have y'all been? Where have y'all been? We're going to discuss four after the hour.
All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 